How you doing? Welcome back to the Philippines. I know we haven't talked much lately, shot a lot of videos. Uh, been here about 20 days and uh, today's video is about going home. That's right, no matter how wonderful you feel like Asia or whatever country that you have escaped to, you will indeed someday go home. Um, this time the stakes may be much higher than uh, in other times I've been in spent long periods of time in Mexico uh, the time in Asia before mostly because of maybe the inflation uh, tickets to go home um, I uh, it's usually pretty easy to come to many of these places right because of course that's when you have the most money uh things are great and and everything seems so cheap but uh, no one really wants to talk about what happens when you go home i have plenty of stories and horror stories about going through customs being stopped uh, from flying one notably when i was in bangkok at three in the morning and a guy told me i wasn't gonna fly and uh it's not mexico in a pinch you could always just run across the border or hop the fence uh, i mean I, I guess in some extreme situations but uh not here in asia we are <laughs> A long ways from home Dorothy and that is no joke um, also Mexico is very favorable immigration situation even though some of the stories that are coming out um, about uh, things that are going on in Asia or sorry Mexico with the immigration the FM visas them kind of cracking down a little bit I think that's kind of location based uh, down there in Cancun but uh, to come from home from Asia, in most cases, you're going to stop uh, in, in another country, maybe Korea, maybe Japan, in some cases, maybe even China with Hong Kong, or, or at least that's the way it was before. Yeah, China still remains closed. Uh, when I flew over here, um, I got a pretty decent deal. Um, the first time I came over to Asia, I believe I paid about $355 on a um, Chinese carrier. And of course they want to take into China so they could make some extra money and the carrier wants to land you in there. So you offload a few bucks or whatnot. But uh, the stakes are definitely higher these days. Um, routes are no longer what they used to be. Uh, cost because of uh, uh, fuel um, may not be as cheap to return home especially as the time goes on I, I mean in the other angle to that is really if the longer that you are out of the country uh, the the more that uh, you get used to what you're paying and then the shock of of course maybe returning to your home country, which is likely gonna be, you know, more expensive. But uh, I have traded in my half and half for classic Alaska evaporated zap milk. It's a wonderful uh, kind of uh, treat in my coffee. Uh, I, it's always something in the other countries I visit that, that I miss. Of course, like Mexico, I, I miss birria tacos. Um, but uh, people ask me about uh, w why I left the United States or came to Mexico. I, I didn't really have a plan in mind. I, I mean, when I was in El Paso, I mean, I was happy enough. I, I just it was really a or b for me i was like well i could stay here and pay this cost or i can go to in mexico and and pay this cost and it was similar to the uh 
kind of the same thing with, with Asia because I don't really have a, a plan in mind. I, I mean, when you come to these places and and or, or you watch bloggers, they they come to these places, they have these plans, and, and mine, I really don't have a, a, a plan in mind. I, I came the first couple times to Asia kind of thinking that this is going to be something that uh, I'm going to do to, to really is the same situation I'm faced with now is, is I need to save money. I mean, El Paso was reasonably caught, you know, reasonable living expenses and, and but the costs were going up. And um, so I, I was like, wow, you know, I need to lower my cost. And, and so I, I figured I would go to Mexico. Uh, again, I really didn't have a plan in mind. Uh, I was familiar with Tijuana. I, I had spent a good amount in, uh, of time in Tijuana and before, so I was more familiar with it. And I knew that I, I really didn't want to stay in Tijuana because of some of the uh, things that were going on there. Um, and, and so, I, again, being kind of familiar with Ensenada and surfing down there, I, I figured it'd be a lot mellower down there, and, and it was. But uh, even the costs there were there for rent and, and, and things um, wasn't really going up, but the market was heating up. The, the rental market is heating up in that area in general. And uh, of course, I have some contacts over here in Asia that I've stayed in contact with for a, a good amount of time. And, and I knew I wasn't done with Asia. I mean, it is reasonably cheap here. Um, where I'm at currently is, uh, I mean, it's uh, $425 a month for a two bedroom apartment. Um, I would kind of uh, maybe, uh, this place is maybe more like a blue collar uh, apartment uh, and but the real value to be had is is not currently where I'm at. It's uh, uh, off the beaten path a little bit. I, I don't know. I, I mean, where I'm at in Manila, I, I mean, it's kind of a, uh, you know, hot rental market uh, also. So uh, the, the cost is still pretty high. And um, But uh, in, in similar to Tijuana, I mean, people were moving to Tijuana. It wasn't as inflationary as it was that, that it was hot. But um, here, uh, I am probably one of the few uh, foreigners that have, uh, you know, traveled over here to Asia um, on the other side of the, the pandemic restrictions. Uh, many of these countries are, you know, trying to open up. Uh, there are foreigners here. Uh, I wouldn't say like I experienced before. I mean, I would meet foreigners every day, people wanting to talk to me, where are you from, what are you doing here type thing, trying to sell me things. Um, so, I mean, there was a lot more of that, but uh, I mean, now I do see foreigners, but I, I would say it's about 10% uh, of what it was. So. Um, there is some value to be had. I wonder if that will remain. Now, um, gasoline costs is uh, high as it is in the United States, and I believe that's probably the same as most places. Uh, food costs, um, I would say they're a little higher than what I experienced before. Uh, but uh, many of the same things that are going on in the United States are, are indeed going on over here. Um, and so uh, it will be interesting to see what happens. And But uh, the exciting part will likely be uh, what, what happens um, when I, I, I do more traveling. Um, if uh, I'll get trapped uh, in, with new restrictions. Um, in maybe a COVID surge. I don't believe that uh, they'll, they'll go back to what they've done. Uh, however, the, the Asian countries as a whole are um, still dragging their feet uh, with um, lifting the restrictions. So I kind of thought at, by this point, which is of course uh, April 15th, 
Um, and I, I figured it would be more open and they have backed off some, but uh, PCR testing and, and different things uh, that they have in place still remain. I'm gonna have some, another sip of coffee here. So it uh, should make for an interesting uh, adventure. Um, uh, again, like I said, I don't really have any uh, plans. Uh, I am headed to the next destination here in, in just a couple of days. So uh, there's that and, and I'm sure it'll be um, an adventure. I got an apartment much cheaper, one lined up, I believe uh, it'd be about uh, $230 a month. Uh, which will lower my header it, it, under under a thousand dollars. I don't know what the exact figure is, but uh, that's where I need to be. I, I mean, I want to uh, make gains against my, um, um, you know, the debts that I owe, and, and then of course also bootstrap my my company and hold on to the people that work with me and stuff, and and keep myself afloat. Uh, while still traveling and, and shooting videos about my experience. Anyway, till the next video, I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Uh, Easter is a much bigger deal here in the Philippines than it is uh, in the United States. I mean, it's mostly Easter egg hunts in the United States and here it's kind of more like a, a holy week and uh, I'm uh, excited to shoot more videos and, and share my adventures. Have a wonderful, what is it today? Is it Saturday night? Saturday night? Have a wonderful Saturday night.